The event will be held Saturday, December 12th at the university's New Market Street location and will observe COVID-19 protocols. The Cesar, a 20-year-old student, has been painting since the age of 10 and he gave more details on what sparked the need for the exhibition. It started as a very, very small idea and it's grown exponentially. We've gotten um, interest from the Minister of Culture and Sports um, and a lot of big organizations in Guyana. So it really stemmed from that really small idea, but it's grown so much more bigger. The entire idea stemmed from creating a platform for local artists to really showcase their talent in Guyana and ultimately develop the Guyana art sector to create a community more appreciative of art. All sales that we make from our tickets, uh, that will go towards helping really underprivileged students from the poorest parts of the world. That is Gambia in Africa, um, Turkey and refugees from Afghanistan. They're currently studying Nations AB course that they offer online due to the pandemic. Um, and uh, yeah, these are amazingly spirited kids who deserve an education. Um, this course will help them in many aspects, business, uh, give opportunities for law and all of that, but it's really a charity event to give back to these students. Our art is not talked about, well, at all. There is an appreciation, but we're trying to make that bigger. Um, that's what we want for society from this event. We want this event and we want to do more like this event to really promote Guyanese talent. We want to develop our culture sector and we have a major focus on sports. We have a major focus on religious activities. Why not art? Over 20 local exhibitors are expected to be on show and tickets cost $1,000 and can be purchased from the School of the Nations or at the gate. Other sponsors include Ansmo Call and Bangsa H. For the newsroom, Akim Green.